ecosystem is a place where animals and non-living things interact with each other. Some examples of ecosystems are deserts, forests, and the Arctic. How do the non-living things impact the living things? How do the water impact your terrariums? Without the water, our animals would die. The non-living things impact the living things by taking up space. Two centimeters of gravel and five centimeters of soil, and we planted grass, and we put mealworms and crickets into our terrarium. Grass has started to grow, and both of our crickets are dead. Now we have four crickets and 12 mealworms. Our grass has grown even taller, and we have the water. Our grass, November 16th, our grass is about three inches tall. All of our mealworms are in one corner, and all of our crickets are alive. Our grass is a, is, a, is a little bit taller than an inch. One of our crickets died, but all of our mealworms are all fine. It's December 1st. Our mealworms have gone into cocoon stage. All of our crickets are dead. Our grass is three inches long, and there are little pellets of leaf on the ground. It's December 2nd, we cleaned out all, out all the mold again, and all of our dead crickets too. Our grass is still three inches tall, and our mealworms are still in a cocoon stage. It's December 7th, and we have a small beetle, and our grass is um, leaning everywhere. The rest of our mealworms are in cocoon. It is December 9th. Our grass is drooping to the ground and our beetle's shell has gotten darker. It's December 10th. We now have two beetles and our grass is still drooping everywhere. We almost have three beetles now. All of our crickets are dead. Our water dish is moldy because it's turning yellowish green or it's just really disgusting. It's December 14th. We have six beetles and all of them are females but one. We think that because it's smaller and darker than all the rest. And all of our crickets are dead. It's December 15th. Our mealworms turn into Tenebrio molitor beetles. Our grass is dead and we have no mealworms and we dug a beetle out of the ground. We have seven beetles. We have stopped watering our grass because it's hopeless. It's December 17th and all of our beetles have gotten darker and our grass is completely dead and is looking like it just caught a fire and our water dish is moldy. It is January 5th. Our grass looks like it has caught on fire. All of our beetles are blacked and they look are fine. It's January 8th and one one of our beetles is eating bark, and six of five of our beetles are trying to push out the cotton ball. My hi hypothesis was, without the water, our animals would die, and the non-living things impact the living things by taking up space. And the number two was right, but number one wasn't. My hypothesis is that the grass will go nice and tall around the rocks, and my hypothesis was right. My hypothesis was without the water, the animals will die, and my hypothesis was my right. My hypothesis are that if the, if the terrarium bottom was just gravel, the mealworms wouldn't be able to tunnel and live. And without 
the water, the animals might be able to live, but they probably would die. And my hypothesis was correct. My hypothesis was that the animals in our terrarium would not be able to see their natural habitat in their life, and my hypothesis was correct. My draw conclusions were because it's part of the mealworm's life cycle and I didn't want to have grass because it just dies and it would be better with a plant. My draw conclusion is that our grass died because we stopped watering it. Uh, my draw conclusion is our grass died because we stopped watering it. Our crickets died because the mealworms ate them. We have little flies in our terrarium and the beetles started eating the cup. If we haven't um, dug up a beetle from under the ground, then one of the beetles wouldn't be missing a wing. I think the crickets died because they're really hungry mealworms or they couldn't find food. I think that the mealworms survived because not all of them needed to eat.